Hello and welcome to the Turbo Newscast. It's Section 2 time again, and you know what Yay. that means. Fun times. Uh, my brain already hurts, and we haven't even started. Fun in quotations. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what you've got cooked up for me this week. We're starting off fairly tame. Oh, good. That means it's just going to be more disappointing later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's Give just me a minute. kind of stupid is as stupid does. Fucking wonderful. Oh. Hmm? Sorry, my page isn't loading. That's weird. Yep, that's annoying. It's just Hoff. Loaded for me. Show me the link over uh, Hangouts, just in case. Good the, uh, refreshing. The actual link. And yes, I have tried refreshing. Oh, wait, I saw this. I saw the, uh, there we go. Yeah, Huffo was just being weird. Uh, girl drugs parents to use internet, according to cops. Oh, god damn it. Rockland, California. <laughs> it's California. Why do you people have to be retarded in my state? <laughs> Go to it's Florida. Me. It's making you look bad. <sighs> Two California teenagers were arrested after they gave one of the girl's parents milkshakes spiked with prescription sleeping pills so she could use the internet past her curfew, police said. The medicated shakes work, but parents became suspicious when they woke up groggy the next morning. They obtained a drug kit from police so they could test themselves for tampering. The tests came back positive, and the couple went back for, to police with the results. Their 15-year-old daughter and her 16-year-old friend were taken to juvie on Saturday and booked on suspicion of conspiracy and willfully mingling a pharmaceutical with food. I didn't even know that was a crime. Well, I mean, no it makes sense, but I didn't know that specifically was what it was called. Well, now you do. Just, there's a limit, you know. <laughs> I realize that you want to use the internet, but you should have standards of what you're going to do to get onto the said internet. Yeah. I feel like if you're drugging your parents, your parents probably did not teach you very well not to drug people. Yeah, therapist Leslie Wilkin. No, wait, no. Uh, therapist. Oh, sorry. Um, Police Lieutenant Lana Milka said the younger girl told investigators that she thought her parents' internet policy was too strict. Internet access is that family's home was shut off every night at 10. I... That's some rebellion right there. Yeah... Dragging goes a little too far. Don't don't spike drinks. It's not very nice. I don't. Okay. Well, the next story is kind of funny. Oh, good. It loaded for you. Yeah, give me a second. I think Tiny Girl was just acting up. It loaded for me. Yeah, it loaded for me. Gun reported reported at St. Augustine Epic Theater. Actually. A sub-sandwich. Don't run is just ham. St. Augustine, Florida. It's Florida. A possible yeah. gun scene being brought into an epic into the epic movie theater in St. Augustine turned out to be a smuggled sub-sandwich. Catherine Payne, public information officer with the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, said shortly before two, two Thursday afternoon... 
the uh, sheriff's office received reports that a man came into the movie theater with a shotgun. When deputies interviewed the man, Payne said they determined he did not have a shotgun, but instead was trying to see and sneak a sub sandwich into how the theater. Large, how large was that sub sandwich to be the size of a shotgun? Shotguns aren't like dinky little things. Yeah, shotguns ain't a five dollar foot long. <laughs> no, those shotguns are much longer than that. Yeah. As far as I know, there are some that are smaller, but they're in the shape of a sandwich. I don't. You think it'd be a shotgun? It just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> It's a new ad campaign for Subway. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be fair, at my college, a few months ago, someone was carrying an umbrella, and someone, and like a bus driver, thought that it was a, a sniper rifle, and it was just an umbrella. I, uh... Okay, I could at least kind of see that. Because that one almost makes sense. But it was an open umbrella. Okay, never mind. Holding up like this. Okay, never mind. He's fucking retarded. <laughs> if it was closed, yeah. It would make sense. But since you said it was open... Holding it for the rain. I think it was. What is with you people? Go get your eyes checked! <laughs> it's a fucking umbrella! It's a fucking sub sandwich! That's so why I said don't run, it's just ham. <laughs> I wanted the heavy quote to be in there. All right. Are you ready to descend? Oh, God. Sure. It's just something I never thought I'd read. Oh, I've got to say. <clears throat> um, they're redirecting really quickly. Yeah. Debbie Zamakona accuses Ghost of stealing her $5,000 resume. There are multiple things confusing about said title. I don't... <sighs> First of all, why are you plating your resume in gold and diamonds? For it to be five thousand dollars. Yeah, what? Did, how was it worth five thousand dollars? You can make an, you can make a copy of another one. Mrs. Zamakona stated she was unsure how much the resume was worth because she was not good at math. I told Mrs. Zamakona that I needed a value for the report and that it just needed to be an approximation. Mrs. Zamakona stated that she did not understand what I was asking. At that point, I noticed a flat-screen television mounted on the wall of her bedroom. I explained to Mrs. Zamakona that the value of the resume was like me asking her how much she would sell her television for. Mrs. Zamakona did, stated that she did not know how much she would tell, sell the television for because she does not like television. All of a sudden, I'm really kind of understanding how she blamed a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Oh, no, it was supposedly one of two ghosts. You see how I get disappointed in things. <laughs> Zamakona told the officer she didn't think her mom's ghost stole her resume and instead placed the blame on black spirits that follow her from time to time. I love this part. 
The officer did not get her to pinpoint whether those black spirits were dark malevolent entities or African-American ghosts. <laughs> this story just gets more and more bizarre. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't either. I feel like she just went off her loop. Yeah, she just decided, okay, you know what? I lost my resume. Fuck it. Let's, let's just, fuck with the police. Let's fuck with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> what is this? I don't even. I don't either. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So we had ghosts. Stealing resumes that were worth way too much. Oh god, do we have ghosts doing something else too? No, we have Oompa Loompas doing something now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oompa Loompas sought over city assault. Police look for two men who were dressed as rolled doll characters when they allegedly attacked a man in Norwich. Eh. <sighs> Detectives are looking for two men dressed as Oompa Loompas who were allegedly responsible for an assault in Norwich. Norfolk police said a 28-year-old man was left with cuts to his face, nose, and lip, as well as two black eyes after being uh, confronted by the fictional factory workers as he left a kebab shop. Just why? What was the point? Because fuck it. They're not even in character, because Oompa Loompas didn't attack anyone. Because... Fuck it. <laughs> uh, it's about time oh, something happened in Norwich. <laughs> would have been great if they had sung while they were doing it. Oh god. That would have been fantastic. I hope they did actually. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. I've got a kick in the nuts for you. <laughs> oh, no, I suddenly like this story. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, I have to admit, that would have made it a lot more entertaining. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> I just don't get a clip. Yeah, I don't... Why Oompa Loompas? What the fuck made you think? <laughs> hey, Why? I was dressed as, as a Teletubby when he was drunk driving, so... Yeah, but if you're dressed as a Teletubby, that's not that hard. You just get the costume. You just get a costume and... Boom, Teletubby. Yeah, Oompa, Oompa Loompa, Loompa makeup. you need the makeup, you need... To make the outfit, because I'm pretty sure they don't sell Oompa Loompa outfits. You have to put real effort into dressing up as a fucking Oompa Loompa. And then you just go and assault people, right? That's the plan. Yeah. I don't get it. Oh, well. So, <sighs> you remember the guy that claimed he was Jesus a while back? Like, really long back? It happened again. There's been a lot of them. Yeah, well, there's, it's, it's more. There's more of them. The fuck, people? <laughs> Man who proclaims himself Jesus attacks deputies. Dispatcher, dispatchers got a call Wednesday at 4.23 in the morning about a... About a dude wearing only shorts and socks. I told really? You, dude is a not an appropriate term for articles. Responding deputies found the man, later identified as Paul Eggers Green, 18, jumping up and down, screaming, yelling, and waving his arms, according to a news release from the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. Deputies said he was yelling that he was Jesus. And everyone was coming to get him. As the deputy approached him, 
he allegedly ran towards him aggressively while flailing his arms. You know, that's what would happen to Jesus if he was around, right? Everyone would go after him. Because he's Jesus and everyone hates him. <laughs> Sam, it's not the only place that has a, si a section specifically for Florida. I know. Yeah, All there's a lot of uh, <laughs> of news outlets that have Florida, Florida stupid section. news. Yes. He's not kidding. I think I've HuffPo has one, doesn't it? Uh, HuffPo? Well, it's dedicated to weird news. Oh, that was just the weird news, not the Florida stupid. Yeah. Although it does have a subsection called Florida. Disorderly intoxication. What was he intoxicated on? Deputies also stated they believed he was under the influence of some type of drug. It took him to a hospital before booking him. I... That's this probably is, a good guess. This is his second booking at the Charlotte County Jail. What did he claim he was before he was Jesus? Do you think he went progressively up to Jesus? Did he start, like, low? Like, was he, like, George Washington before? I don't know, but that Jesus? guy don't look like Jesus. No, he needs a beard. And a different hairstyle. He needs to be more Middle Eastern. And why would... Jesus for green. I don't know. That's green a really like that. ugly shirt. Yeah. That shirt does not look good on him. If it was a little bit darker, it would look better. Maybe when you're on drugs. I, maybe it depends on the drugs you're on. Maybe there are some drugs that make you believe that you are Jesus. <laughs> it's a like, green screen shirt. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> Maybe there's a particular shroom that you can take that makes you think you're Jesus. Alrighty. What okay, else we you got? Want, you want some Jesus? Okay, some Jesus right here. Oh, now we're just going to the political nonsense. Oh, of course. Well, not America first. Japan? You're fucking weird. Yeah. Tax handsome men increase birth rate, says economic analyst. So this one's kind of convoluted, but basically what he is suggesting is that they tax people who look handsome so that the people who don't look so handsome have a better chance of getting laid. Mates. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. It's taxing them for being handsome I didn't say it made a whole lot of sense Cliff it's on section 2 I don't how does but where I can't My brain hurts. <laughs> I told you it didn't make any sense. I No, it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> the answer is pancake, so screw you. <laughs> uh, that pretty much sums it up, I think. Pretty much. Of course, I like the comments. Oh, were there comments as well? Yeah. Okay, that guy's kind of hot. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Okay, that guy's kind of not. He has a collection of toys. Why? Why not? Trying to make out what some of those things are. Um, Anyways. you've got a toy car, a toy car, a toy car. I know there's a, a lot toy of toy car. cars. I'm talking about the toy thing car. under the cars and the plane thing, the, the magazine booking things. Booking thing. I don't know. I 
I'm not even sure this is that part of the article. I'm, I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea. This, this story just confuses me. I think he's got like a Dalek on the back there. But yeah, no, I have no idea what's there. <sighs> Nor do you have any idea what's going on in the story. No, I don't. Doesn't make sense. I told you, Japan is weird. No shit. This doesn't even make sense. This it's not a plausible economic solution to anything. No. No, it isn't. It's the same as uh, what was it? Not Washington. Uh, I was gonna say Salem. No, it starts with an S, but it's one of the. It's a city up there in uh, Washington or. Oregon or something like that, mm -hmm. where they uh, want to tax people who don't do something. God damn it. I just read this story. Who don't do pot. Yeah, that's another good question. How do they rate handsomeness? It's on a point-based system. Like, okay, I could say that that guy's the ugliest guy in the world. I'd be lying, but I could say that he's ugly. And I could say that I find that man attractive instead. It's based on a purely subjective scale. Like, every man in all of Japan has to walk in front of this guy, and he has to tell them how, how ugly or handsome they are. I have to... I have to admit, he does look kind of cute. Just adorable cute, not hot cute. Give me the second picture right. No, the first one. Oh. Yeah, the fat guy standing at the desk. He's okay. adorable. <laughs> he just looks so squishy. He looks like a he looks like a stuffed animal. Thank you for giving me that image. Yeah, no, the second guy is hot. <sighs> you want to move on? Yes, let's. Before I keep thinking let's about this, let's go back to the USA. Oh, fun. What? What? <laughs> you need to do a double take, then, Joe. What? <laughs> Christian ex-gay porn star the devil comes out your anus when you have gay sex and I thought the news guys just came out of your anus when you had gay sex yeah what It totally does, too. <laughs> I don't... <sighs> I'm pretty sure I saw a hentai like this once. <laughs> Joseph Chambra, who formerly appeared in gay porn for many years, says that after finding God, he sought hospitalization following damage caused to his rectum that meant he had to have his sphincters almost stitched shut. In the video, he said, I'm going to talk about the devil and why he loves anal sex. Anal sex releases into the world rare demonic entities and that even in the body could be conceived as the devil and that would be, uh, be given birth to anally. So it's not the devil. 
So the story's lying. Demonic entities. I don't... You do realize it doesn't make that much better. I don't... understand... your logic, sir. <laughs> you know good logic? Why would you become a Christian fundamentalist anyways? He had too much Taco Bell? I... My... Uh... Alright. I'm going with he had too much Taco Bell. Sure. I can't make... any figment of sense out of this you story. You can't make this... I can't make this shit up. It's... No, you can't! It's too stupid for me even to conceive it really is I, all right have you ever i know you have you've seen things that are just so stupid that all you can say is what the fuck yeah there's no trying to debate it or trying to find logic in it. It's just that stupid. And that's... That's all I got for you. And that's... Fucking section two. What just happened? <laughs> don't know. I don't know what I just... You were witness to the birth of de the devil through gay sex. Alrighty, well, I'll be right back. <laughs> See you in section three.